Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm back again and today I want to look at the Read It app. Now this is software that enables you to use various cameras. They recommend to use the Read It Scholar High Definition Camera which I'll leave a link below on my YouTube channel underneath. But today I'm just going to have a quick look at the software, see how it works. So if you do get a specific camera with it then you can use, you know how to use the software. So today I'm going to use the scanner because I don't have a camera and show you how it works through the scanner using optical character recognition. Before you start, I recommend going to Tools and Options. Recognition Options. Now, I'd leave the first option's default optical character recognition, which converts your images into readable text. And a good option with the OCR options is actually you can send it to various formats like a Word document, PDF, or even an audio file. So if you're doing any research or something you need to listen to, that would be great. I'll leave page straightening on as well, just to straighten out the page automatically. Now, split book pages, I'll show you that in a minute, because that enables you, if you've got a book, it will split each page for you individually. Then go cameras. to cameras, select your camera there, and what you want to do. Scanning. Scanning. So I'm going to use this for my scanner. I've got a scanner brother DCP. I've got it in 300 dots per inch, that's more than enough, unless it's really tiny fonts. Visualizations. Again, you can have a look at that, but I'd leave that as default as well. Appearance. Now, appearance, it depends on how you want it to officially look within the software. Colors. Colors. So I could go black on yellow. So when I click OK, you'll get that black on yellow. So black text with yellow background. So again, that's all personal with options that you want to use there. Visualizations. And you can even choose your own custom Appearing. color combination if you want a specific color as well. Interface. You can have font size 9, medium icon. So again, you can choose the size of that that you wish. Make sure you've got the quick language there as well, and the voice. Voice, Amy. I'm going to try Brian. Brian. There's Brian, and let's try Emma. Emma. Now you can choose a voice that you want there as well. Speech verbosity is an option where it reads back information on the screen for you, so when you hover over something, for example. Speech verbosity, very that's high. That's very high, and wherever I go, it will read it back for me. Wherever I go, it's more likely to speak back with more detail. So I'm just going to leave that on no. low. Then we've got speech. speech. You can change the speed of the voice you just chose, which was Emma down here, here, and the volume. Don't forget to choose your default reading language there. And last system. of all is system. I would leave check for updates and start up and click OK. OK. So there we go. We're now good to go. Actually, I'm going to put it back to white default background for you, so I don't throw you. There we go. But you know how to change that now anyway. So now I'm ready to go. I'm not going to go through the options. I'm going to go through the options as we actually scan something. I've got a couple of sheets that I want to scan in my automatic document feeder. So I'm going to select scanning. the scanning button. So let it start scanning. Shouldn't take long. Scanning. Scan complete. The 10th of November 2021. 1818. Talk type command mode. Talk type provides you with. I'm going to select pause at the top here. So this is your pause option. Now I've just scanned two pages. Beginning of this is the first page, and if we go to the next page, end of document, and there's the second page. Beginning of document. And also, if you hold the left button, you can drag that to the middle, so you can put it exactly where you want to access it as well. So I've done the scanning quickly. So this will work the same way if you're using the Read It Scholar HD. The difference with it is it'll be a lot clearer and sharper, and it can scan really small text for you. But the principle is the same. First thing you might do is come up to and go color mode color mode here so let's go enhance grayscale you can see it's kind of pulled out that text more for you you might go binary but I'm gonna leave it back on the original color got an option here as well for visualization so if I click on it we're currently on the image option you might go overlay you can see that sharpened up the text a lot isn't it column Maybe you want to see it as columns, it makes it a lot more easy to access. Remember, you've got a play button here. So let's click type, on talk type. Mode. Talk type provides you. Click to pause and you can read back. You might find it easier to read back in that visualization. Or horizontal. Or vertical. Or if you prefer one word at a time, which works quite well. And if you look at that text, it's a bit small. So if you come up the top here, you can zoom in with the plus button. And then we can select play. You with hundreds of voice command that you can use to control your map. But I want to go back to visualization and leave an original one image. Hold the left button and drag that back in. So that's the first page. And as I said before, click this to go to your second page, drag that into the middle, 
position you want, then click the cursor where you want to read back from. Talk type provides you with hundreds of voice and select pause. So obviously I'm, I'm a bit limited because I'm only using the scanner, but if you're using a read it scholar HD, you can actually pick up from a long distance away small text and OCR that to enable you to have that read back. But that's all good. But once you scan something off, you might want it as an audio file or even maybe as a Word document. Easy enough to do. Come up to File. Make sure you choose Quick Export Options first to set everything up for yourself. Now you can see I've got it to go to my desktop. I can choose the format here. So portable document format, which is PDFs. They're kind of images as well. Don't think because you've got a PDF you can't access it. You can open them up in, as a Word document into a Word document as a PDF. So you're not limited. RTX is your standard rich text format. You're kind of using text document, for example, on Windows. Text, Word document, JPEG, which is a compressed image, and MP3, which is save as an audio file, which is really handy to do that because then you can send it to your phone, pop your headphones on and listen to it, couldn't you, on the move. So there's various options with that. So I'm going to send to a Word document for this demonstration. And that's going to be my default here. So I can do default or a sack. Now play around with that. I'm going to leave mine on default and select. Now I'm going to come up to file, quick export, which should export to a Word document. And there we go. Let's have a little look. So obviously if I enable content there, I can now access that because it's just standard text. So again, you can do that, as I said, it's an audio file as well. Let's get rid of that and don't save. Now, if I had a book that I need to scan off and had a camera, there's an option up here that makes life a lot easier. Go to recognition and you select the split book pages. What this does is when you come along now to come to edit, you'll be able to use the multiple capture option. And what that would do is it will automatically take a scan of each page and it separates them all. So when you come to read them back, they'll be more in order for you to go through them one at a time. Now we've got it converted. Now we've got the document. You might want to add information to it. So let's click on command, command mode, mode and I'm going to pause it at the top there. Now you can come at the top here and select the option here, which is view annotation. Or if I right click it, I can annotate that. It's a little window comes up underneath. So you can add additional information regarding that sentence that you might want to put in. So very useful, for example. If I close that, that will be up there. So whenever you want to add it, so whenever you've got the document open, you can go to edit, annotation, see all your annotations there, and then you can see document or current page to access. So it's a good way to get notes down and information. Also, another quick point here, if you go to file and save as. Because you might not always want to convert it, you might want to save this as a Vision A document so you can open it back up in the software and work with it. And you can quite easily do that as well if you wish. You don't have to convert it if you don't wish. Another good option to do right click is a built in dictionary. So when you right click a word and select define, it brings up the dictionary for you. And I'm going to maximize that as well. And there's a good option there. Now, if you want it to read back, we need to change verbosity. So go to. So close it, go to Tools, Options, come to Verbosity, I'll make that medium, click OK. So when I do a right click on the word and select Define, Dictionary, Command, Type, Noun, Maximize Definition, it. an authoritative direct type, Noun, Definition, a military unit or region under the control of a single officer. And close it so that way when you hover over it will read back for you as well it just makes things a little bit more simple for you another option on the right click is bookmark so if you're reading a lot of pages you might wish to bookmark where you want to carry on or important bookmark information added. so now I've bookmarked that now if I come up the top here or control B list of bookmarks and there's your bookmarks, bookmarks. Page, page so when you open one. it up it goes straight to that point drag that over to where you left off so really handy bookmark option as well also if you don't want it reading back for you, if you come up to the top speech you can stop announcements there turn them off and on there and you can even got the option there to speak punctuation if you want to hear the punctuation as well including pause at line breaks 
as well. So a lot of those settings you can change without having to go to your main settings option that I showed you tools earlier. Also you've got navigation. And in navigation you've got great options. Definitely worth learning these shortcuts. So you can go from one letter to the next by using the left or right cursor key. Same with each word. So you can go one word forward or one word back using control left or right. And again you can have the phonetic word spoken as well. Same goes for sentences using the up and down arrow keys and paragraph with control up and down. And then you've got page up, page down to go to each page quickly and preview screen on next screen. It's really handy if you've done multiple book pages as well. So I recommend these ones here, definitely worth learning because it helps you navigate around your document a lot quicker as well. Hence go to beginning. And another good one is find. Search term. Find. You're looking for a specific word in there. So let's put in make entire document and okay. click OK. And you can see it's jumped straight down there for you. So there you go. That's just a quick look at the Readit software without using without using the Readit Scholar high definition camera. Thanks for watching.